Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the RTX Dual Phone 3088. So let's get into this. So in the box you get the 3088 handheld itself and then the dock for that the handheld goes in to charge and also the hub. So they're the main big three things. Then you get the hub charging cable, a phone cable and an ethernet cable to connect to your wireless router. So firstly plug in the ethernet cable in the back of the hub, if I can get it in the right way. And after that plug in the phone cable. But do not plug in the power cable just yet. Well, you can as long as you don't switch it on just yet. So now you want to plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into one of the free ports in your router. And then the phone cable into a phone socket somewhere in your house. You might need one of those, which is a converter. And now you can switch it on. You can plug it in and switch it on in both ends and when you plug it in this end you should see the red light comes on it does flash a few times firstly but not much now decide where you want to put the dock I've decided to put it on my desk and then plug it into the wall and switch it on which is what I'm doing right here there we go now you can put the handheld into the dock and let it charge for a few hours it will beep when it's ready and it will switch itself on as you can see right here. So now that the phone is charged and working it will give you the option to sign into Skype or create a new account. So I'm going to press sign into Skype. Then it will ask for your username so I'm going to type mine in and then I'll be right back. So now I've typed in my username and password and this guy's asking me does it want to automatically sign in. So I recommend you press yes here and not no because this is really useful. So we're signing into the Speedline Tech Helpline account right here. Um, if this is connected up to the base right um, which we plugged in earlier which I believe it is it should log in and there you go Skype online. So you get quite a lot of features with this phone, even though it's the old one and there is a new one out. So we're logged in right now and you can see that I have my voicemail system on, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, so if we go to the menu, you can see we've got contacts, call history, add contact, intercom, status, that's your Skype login and stuff, but you don't want to worry about that, I'll show you something to do with that in a minute. The search for like contacts services which is where the voicemail system is and uh, diversion from Skype to a mobile phone and then there's the settings so if we go in the settings you can see this call diversion again and this privacy manage blocked users tones time and date cordless settings phone settings information and advanced so let me just show you the tones so you can change the tones for um, the landline or the Skype thing just so you can have a different tone for each one so this is the first one second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight and there's quite a few more I'm not going to show you them all because there's loads there's like 13 or 14 um, so they're really good and you can also have a notification sound for when you get a new contact request and the contact requests come through on here so you can add people directly from the phone the only thing that doesn't come through to the phone is instant messages which is quite unfortunate but I guess maybe that'll be in a later model you might notice this button right here is white compared to the one on the right hand side that's because it flashes when you've missed a call or you have a new voice message something like that so let's see how this phone works because it has a loudspeaker in as well so I'm gonna like call it and see how it works so I'll be right back hello yeah 
that should be fine. Okay, talk to you soon. Goodbye. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that the buttons kind of they aren't the nice type of buttons you can get you get on your normal landline phone. They're like the old style hard press ones, if you know what I mean. If you want to get a cordless Skype phone, I recommend you get the RTX Dual Phone 4088 because that's the latest model and that is out right now. Um, but if you'd like to buy the 3088, the link will be in the description below. So that's about it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.